Welcome to the Welsh Women Workshop and in tonight's project we've got quite an exciting one. A neighbour should give me this palm tree type shrub and we're going to have a go and see if we can actually turn this into something cool on the lathe. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm not going to need the, the head of this obviously for the turning. I'm not exactly sure what sort of palm tree or plant this is. Maybe a yucca. Someone maybe clever than me can help me out in the comments. So I'm just going to trim off the top. We don't need that part. Now interestingly, inside this if you can see, it's not sort of grass-like, like I've seen palm trees in the, in the past. This seems to be all solid, but grass-like around the, the bark itself. So we're going to see what we're going to get out of this. It'll be interesting. So we've got a good few blanks to have a play with. So it's going to find the centres using our fingers as a gauge. So right at the middle of there is my centre. We'll do the same on the other side. I'm really excited to see how this turns. Or whether it will turn properly. We'll find out. Right, there we go. We're going to get that mounted onto the lathe. Now we're going to be using just a hobby lathe at the moment. So this is a charm where I've borrowed off a friend of mine. Uh, my pull wood speed controller needs changing. It's hard to find a replacement because it's so old. So I'm going to mount this between the centres now. I think we're going to get a lot of vapour, water vapour coming off this because it was literally cut down well, five minutes ago. So we're using a ring centre at the end just to give it some support. Alright, let's give this a turn. So safety first, I'm making sure that i got full and free movement and the tool rest is all locked down. We're wearing a power respirator. When I turn this on, I want to be touching the tool rest first as I'm roughing out and moving this across. Speed down to the lowest possible when turning them on. Gradually bring him up then. Haha, <laughs> it's really good. So touching the full rest first. Handle down. Riding the bevel, so touching it along this grind angle. And then you lift up, so you start to see shavings coming over the top. Little tip, put the tool on top. If it's not bouncing, you're into the round. Bouncing like that, it's not. Got a little idea with this one. Gonna create two little tenons to hold on to. <laughs> this is so unusual. <laughs> That's really unusual. We're starting to get these little Whoop, starting to get these little pippy bits coming through. Now my neighbour is really fond of mushrooms, so I was thinking of doing a mushroom for him, but it's going to be hard to come up with a, a tenant. We'll have to use a skew chisel, I think. It's got a small skew. Right, we're going to attempt to see if we can hold this little guy in a ten. With fluffiest. Really, really fluffy, like stringy. So I think a palm is actually classed as a grass rather than a, um, a tree as such. So I'm going to be using a continental style spindle gouge to come up with this mushroom shape and a skew as well to help me. So the first step, I'm going to be using my skew, a bit like a part into the middle of this bar. And I'm going to roll a bead. So I only want to be cutting with the top third of the tool. So I've got into the middle there, do the same the other side.
this is so unusual. Uh, I've seen a lot of green wood in my time, but nothing ever quite, quite like that. It's sort of almost like an oil coming off. It's weird. Into the grassy bits, I think. That's so unusual. Look at this, really. These grassy bits. So the outside, sort of cool, is quite hard. The centre is full of this grassy type of stuff, which I've never come across before. It's really cool. Uh, I'm going to try and sand that and rescue it somehow. And we're going to part it off towards the top, and we can get another one. So unusual. <laughs> Let's embrace it. Let's go for it. We're gonna go with theory mushrooms. That's that's the other option. <laughs> <laughs> Get into that fairy section again. So this is what I came up with from those logs. Really unusual, probably the most unusual organic thing I've had to turn. Uh, I think the shapes could be a little bit more refined, but it's quite a difficult material to turn. So my uh, neighbour next door actually collect these. So we're gonna zoom in, have a look at the, the material itself. So we've got the outer bark really hard there. We come in towards the centre and it's literally a grass. So I always knew that palm trees were classed as a grass, but never thought they would be quite like this in size. Really, really fibrous, as you can see. I did another one and it came out like this, almost like a hula skirt. So we're going to try and do something arty with that. Any ideas in the comments would be greatly appreciated. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's experimental turn project. If you have, remember to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the bell icon to get more videos like this your way. So I hope you have a great night. Dielchenvaur, Nostar.